yeah, again, my name is Swapnil Rathod, a digital marketer since last eight years, have five years of um, freelancing experience and five years of training digital marketers. Okay, I have trained more than 5,000 people. Uh, I'm currently working as a digital marketing head for a financial uh, advisory firm. My previous experience includes uh, uh, businesses like carwale.com, asanjobs.com. These are mainly uh, into e-commerce, uh, job portals, startups. And yeah, right now I'm working for a financial advisory firm. That is one of the biggest in India. So uh, that is what my, uh, my portfolio or my profile has been like. So let us start by knowing you guys and just your name. And uh, you're a student or uh, you're a working professional. If you're a working professional, then what is your job role? And why do you want to learn digital marketing? Okay, let's uh, start with that. So, yeah, ca can we start with Karen? Hello. Um, yes, my name is Karen. And I work for the company with I am Marketing Clock. So... Okay. I am doing the graphic design, but for the digital marketing, I want to have growing up to promotion and not be the same job I want to do. So digital marketing, I've been love to have a creative and to give the people to see what we will do. So the company I work here with is a uh, mini girl. So they are working at the machine for the X-ray for 30 seconds to your full body exercise to save your life and save your time. So yeah, okay. I, I am very impressed. So I want to grow it up. Okay, okay, that's great, that's great. Uh, thanks a lot, Karen, for sharing the information. Uh, next in my sequence is... Uh, Karen, you can uh, unmute yourself, okay? Uh, next in the sequence is someone by the name of iPhone. Uh, you have to rename yourself. So, yeah, iPhone, can you just unmute yourself? Or let's move ahead. Uh, okay, hello. Hi. Hi, iPhone. Hi, Hi guys, my name is Martha. Sorry, um, Martha, my other okay. name is Linda, and yeah. I'm working for a company in South Africa. It's a retail company, and okay. it's called Urban Spaces. So we work with over 52 brands, and Very I've good. got I've got my own clothing label. So I um, decided to take this course to upscale myself. That's really um, great. And also so I can help with uh, social media strategy when it comes to marketing the company. Okay. That's great. Yeah, That's great. so I'm currently at work today, but I'm, I'm with you guys. So thank you so much uh, for today and the last, the last um, digital marketing course. Yeah. Okay. And it's hi really, to everybody. <laughs> it's really great to have you here, Martha. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Please Thank you. Do, do be interactive during the session. Okay. I, I will. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Uh, Karabu. Hi, Karabu. Good morning, everyone. Hi. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Uh, I'm doing good. Thanks a lot. Thank so, Karabu, you. yeah, just uh, tell me what, uh, what you do and are you working or are you a student? Um, I'm working, but it's not in the digital media space. Okay. I'm currently a teacher, but I've decided to take up on this um, a course because I am part of a social media campaign. I've been with so many um, brands who want to work with me because I've been just doing a lot of campaigns due to the number of followers that I have. So I decided to upskill myself and just try and get certification so I can help um, better myself through my marketing skills mm -hmm. and my business. Very good. That's really great. Okay. Um, thanks a lot for being the part of the session. Thank you. Uh, Lerato? 
Good morning, everybody. Hey, good morning. Hi. I actually started. Okay. My name is Lerato. I'm also in South Africa. I've been an entrepreneur for most part of my life and a marketer to a large extent. So, um, you know, dabbling into digital marketing here and there, but without enough knowledge. So now I'm just trying to get into enough knowledge. So I'll try and um, look at my, maybe my own business website as, as you teach, try and see how I can improve internally as a business. And then so that I can, you know, market my business better to prospective clients and companies needed digital marketing and marketing in, in general because I'm from the traditional marketing background. So now I'm trying to really upskill myself into the digital space uh, because I understand that that's where growth is coming, is going to be, and we need to be ready for the growth. Um, that's going to be a lot of opportunities for businesses going forward in the digital space. So you want to position yourself appropriately and win, I guess. Great. Well, Very good. Okay. Yeah, thank okay. You. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Loretto. I'll probably thank buy you, you a bit. Us. I'll probably buy you a bit to just so that I can get my skills in order, in line. Oh, sure. No problem. For that. <laughs> no thank problem. You. No problem. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, Mustafa. Hey, Mustafa. You can unmute yourself. Uh, Odwa? Hi, Odwa. Hello. hello, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Um, do, I'm doing good, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good, thanks for asking. Please excuse uh, me. I, I get very thirsty while speaking. <laughs> so, I have to keep this thing with me. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, hi, everybody. Um, this is Odwa. I'm a student. Uh, I decided to take this course uh, to upskill myself because I don't know nothing about digital marketing, so I just want to learn. Okay, that's me. Yes. That's okay. Me. Okay, I, I wish you all the best, and I I really hope that I am able to add value. And you know, towards the end, you get a sense that uh, you have learned a lot. Okay. Yes. Hi, Theodora. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm Fiodora. I am a working professional. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am a digital media lead. I work for a creative agency that has a media house on doors. Um, I've worked with some really cool brands over the years, for the past eight years or so. Um, the likes of KFC, Unilever, Hollard, um, Visa, and some, some really cool names. Um, I wanted to take this course because there are some elements that I'm not so um, au fait with, with the likes of SEO as well as website um, creation. I, I once did that a few years ago, so it's nice to just top up the knowledge. And yeah, just to get a certification on what I work with. Thanks. Right. Okay, okay. Thanks a lot. And that was very precise to the point. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Uh, travel? Travel Pile? They're just trying to get into know, know each other. Zondre? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Zandre. I am a South African, but I'm currently based in the UK and I'm working for a financial firm in the UK. And I decided to take this course because I've got some plans for a, a startup and would like to know more about the the digital space and marketing. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay. Uh, so, what are you doing in UK? I am um, working for a for a financial firm. I'm doing actually an internship at a at a financial firm in the UK accounting. Okay, that's great. Okay, I wish you all the best. Okay, and I hope you enjoy today's session. So yeah, uh, so. A lot of uh, working professionals, I can see. And uh, yeah, I really hope that I'm able to add value and meet your expectations. Um, 
the thing with me is i'll i'll make sure that the things that i explain are mainly practical and with some examples as well okay so if we do if we learn things practically then the learning is more effective that is what i believe and i personally don't like going through uh, the those huge ppts and powerpoint presentations because then the session doesn't become interactive and the sessions are like very boring and very theoretical right so we'll try to keep everything as practical as possible i'll be sharing my screen with you and if possible uh, please i request you to please whatever i do or i teach you implement it parallelly along with me if if there is any query if you want to ask me something then uh, feel free to ask me you can unmute yourself and you can ask me or else you can just drop in a comment we have the chat option as well so drop a comment in the chat option and i'm sure i'm sure i'll be able to help you out okay but make sure that the learning is effective okay and believe me digital marketing is not at all difficult it's it's very very easy it's very easy also sometimes i i keep on speaking and i forget to switch on my camera so just make sure that uh, no you remind me to enable my screen share uh, whenever i'm teaching you something practically so i'll just drag this note and drop over here and just mention what we are learning today right so um how many of you know about wordpress what is it and why is it used any idea what is wordpress the answer is right in front of us right <laughs> it's wordpress is something that is used to create a website right so it's not <laughs> not uh, much of a big deal uh, but uh, yes wordpress is nothing but a software okay and i'm sure some of you might have heard about it uh, most of you might not have heard about it okay so that is what we'll be learning so today's agenda is to learn uh, the basic components of a website okay we'll be starting with the basics of website uh, what all things are needed what all ingredients are needed to create or to cook a website right that is what we'll be beginning with uh the agenda is will be uh, starting off with what are the various components that are required uh, in order to create a website okay so let me just write it down so that it's there in front of us components of a website and then gradually we'll learn uh, how to create a website so basically uh, what do i mean by create a website right um, so by creating a website uh, i mean that how do we add how to add content i'll show you how to add content right and what exactly i mean by content text right obviously some text uh, some images videos as well right this is what uh, we'll start off with uh then i'll show you how you can create a navigation bar okay if this is not clear to you what exactly is a navigation bar then um uh, so this is one of my blogs sorry this is one of my blogs that i maintain i'm not maintaining it very actively these days uh but i created this uh, with the intent of uh, intention of uh, helping out students and just whatever information i have just sharing it with them but i haven't been very disciplined with this uh, so sometimes if i feel that okay i should publish something then i'll go ahead and write something and publish it sometimes some of my students uh, wanted to publish a few things so i gave them access and uh, they published some of the content so i use this as a as a template uh, you know through which i can uh, help you guys create a website so a lot of things are over here so obviously can you see this thing at the top this is called as a menu bar or a navigation bar okay can you see this and what does this do this helps people who visit your website navigate across the various pages on your website correct and obviously you want your pages especially the most important pages to be visible to people correct can you imagine if you go to amazon and you are able to see only the home page but you are not able to navigate through the category pages or the product pages what will happen you will visit amazon's home page and then you will spend some time trying trying to find out a few things uh trying to find the right page 
and you'll just be very frustrated if you're not able to find it and then what you will do you will close the browser or you will jump to some other website correct so in order to have a smooth user experience a very good user experience you have to make sure that the most important pages of your website or the pages which are very very relevant to the people who visit your website should be visible on the website should be visible at the front end the person who is browsing through the website should be able to find the information that he is looking for and that is where this menu bar comes into picture this helps him navigate or browse through your website this helps him find the right page find the right information that he is looking for right so this is called as navigation bar or a menu and i'm going to show you how you can add these drop downs as well okay so don't worry about this i'm going to show you how to add the image how to add this title how to add content right let me just take you through any one of the content yeah uh, i'll show you how to add these social icons right so that people can share your content directly from here see one way is someone can just copy this url log into facebook and paste the url and start writing content what is the other method you can simply click f over here right and he can directly log in to facebook from here right things are easy things become very easy with this not only that i'll show you how to add these bullet points and what else do we have uh how to add elements to the right hand side sidebar okay so these are some of the things that we will learn during this uh also one more important thing is i'll show you how to create a form through which you can capture leads okay how to create a form and add it to your website through which you can capture leads what do i mean by leads when someone visits your website he is called a website visitor or or traffic correct right? website visitor or traffic now when he looks at the information or the content that you have on the website and when he likes the content and when he wants some kind of information from you some additional information or some help from you what he will do he will start looking for a way to get in touch with you and that is where your form comes into picture so now he is trying to get in touch with you to get more or additional information he looks at a form and he fills the form and the form has let's say three fields and a button the first field is uh, for the first field asks for his name right name or full name the second field asks for his email address and the third field asks for his phone number right so what he does is because he is very anxious and eager to get information from you or because he is highly interested in what you have to offer he fills in his personal details in that form and you as the owner of the business or the website are able to capture those uh, those details at the back end correct right? now suddenly the website visitor or the browser of your website the person who was browsing your website has got converted into a lead when he fills that information so now what you have is his lead okay you have his information that is called as a lead l e a d lead or a contact and when that contact becomes your customer we call it as a conversion how many of you got this point right so if i were to make a funnel a simple funnel uh, out of this so what i can do is i can write first step as um, a website visitor the website visitor might get converted into a lead right and when you speak to the lead let's say over a call or through emails you are able to convert him into customer let's call it conversion okay in some cases in some cases let's say in case of uh, e-commerce especially usually there is no lead stage involved people can directly visit the website and purchase the product and get converted or become customers right so in some cases there is a shorter marketing funnel in some cases there are more layers to the marketing funnel depending upon what you are selling what you are offering uh, and all these things they contribute towards this okay so far am i clear so far 
Is there any doubt? No, you're clear. All good, all clear. Okay. If there is any doubt, please do ask. The only thing I would like to ask is, is WordPress the only software that we use for website or are there multiples you just chose WordPress? So WordPress, so sorry. WordPress is not the only software. Uh, it's a very good question and very relevant. Uh, so first question is, um, let's say, is WordPress the only software? So my answer is no, there are many others. Uh, now the second question might be, uh, then why only WordPress? Uh, so why are you teaching only WordPress? Why not other softwares? Okay. So first is there are other softwares like WordPress, uh, Wix, Magento. Uh, these are all alternatives of WordPress. Okay. Uh, then uh, especially for e-commerce, if you want to create an e-commerce website, then there is Shopify as well for e-commerce, right? So Wix is very popular. Shopify is popular only for the niche who wants to create a uh, create an e-commerce website. Then why WordPress? So did you know that WordPress has the largest market share when it comes to Wix and Shopify and all those things? WordPress has the largest market share uh, market share by a very huge, uh, uh, very huge gap. Okay. So the market share. Uh, so out of every hundred websites on uh, on the world wide web, out of every hundred websites on the world wide web, more than forty percent websites use WordPress. So WordPress powers more than 40% of the websites on the world wide web. Okay. Websites, blogs, all included. And when it comes to Wix and Shopify and Magento and rest of the, uh, rest of the softwares, they, uh, their share is like 1%, 2 0.7%, 0.3%, 0.1%. It's, it's very small, right? So if you want to be in the market and if you want uh, that competitive edge, so you need WordPress. Okay, fine. the biggest advantage of WordPress, the why has WordPress become so popular and why has why does it have forty percent of market share as compared to rest of the competitors who just have like 0.2 and 0.5 and one percent? The reason is more flexibility. So there is a lot of flexibility with WordPress. You can do this, you can do that, you can add this, you can drag and drop this. Uh, so. Someone who is even a uh, someone who is a layman and someone who who knows absolutely nothing about creating a WordPress, even he can create a, a, a very good looking, a professional looking website, a small website or a big website or an e-commerce website, something that is very complicated, right? Or even a blog. And so that's why, because it is very user friendly, because it is very very flexible, and because there is plenty of support and information available on uh, various forums and uh, websites like YouTube. So WordPress has become very, very popular and because it is easy to use, people are using it and suddenly the market share just went up. Okay. And that's the reason why we are going to learn WordPress. Okay. Okay. Let's come back to this, uh, to the agenda, what we will be learning uh, through these modules like today and in the next session as well. So I'll teach you how to add a navigation bar as well. Uh, what else? I'll teach you how to add social icons. I will teach you how to capture leads using forms. I will teach you how to add a carousel. Um, carousel. How, how many of you know what a carousel is? Any idea what a carousel is? Yeah, I think um, okay. multiple pictures that you can scroll across so you can pick the different pictures very and good. you can click very into good. a website. Correct. Correct. Absolutely. Very good. So multiple images and you, know, you can just click and then it, it slides from left to right or right to left. Right. You see multiple images just sliding in front of you. That is called as a carousel. Okay. Yeah, some people like to call it image slider as well, but uh, the technical term for that would be a carousel. Right. So I'll teach you how to uh, add a carousel to a website or a page. I'll teach you how to um, add buttons. How to add buttons to your uh, uh, to your page to your website. Uh, I'll teach you how to organize content using accordions and tabs. Okay. 
accordions and tabs uh, now you might not be aware of what accordions are let me just uh, give you an example this is something that i created for the sake of demonstration okay uh, this website is not live actually i, I mean it is live but uh, it's i'm not working on it very actively so can you see this button i'll show you how you can add these buttons how you can add these counters as well some information again a button and look at this how you can add a form on the website and text and these are called as accordions can you see this if i click on the plus sign it expands and if i click on it it collapses again right so this is very useful for organizing content can you imagine if i if i publish or if i add this content one below the other the page will be so long and tell me if you visit any website would you like to scroll down 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 to read or to browse through all the information individually would you like that will that be a good experience for website visitors no it's bombarding the user correct correct and i, I have so, realized that lately the websites that i've been visiting are very mm -hmm. long it's like all the pages are on the landing page and it's a very long strip so i was wondering if that's a good thing or a bad thing are we moving more towards that long strip or is it is it wrong okay so obviously there has to be a certain limitation also right so something that we call as a scroll depth so i think that uh, usually like in this case see this is like scroll depth 0 uh, and once i scroll this is scroll depth 1 then this is scroll depth 2 this is depth 3 depth 4 and depth 5 right so i i guess still 5 it's okay it's fine but only if uh, you uh, add value through the content but if you uh, if, if there's random content and you are going on explaining the same thing again and again then that might become very irritating okay so if you are genuinely adding some value then i feel that a, a longer scroll depth is okay okay uh, and that happens a lot with uh, let's say um, with businesses who are into the b2b space by b2b i mean business to business especially with the saas based companies or um, uh, i've had experience with uh, saas companies as well so if i show you salesforce website let's go to any of the product yeah look at this so this is one this is two this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 this is 8 this is 9 so in this case there are around nine scroll depths or sections and every section adds a lot of value okay every section adds a lot of value so uh, if there is value add and if the content is not repetitive so in that case one can uh, one can increase the depth of the uh scroll is that fine okay. the good thing about software based company is they show the interface over here on the one, on one side and then they show information related to that interface screenshot on the right so this is something that i really like and this is a very good way to show uh the testimonials and all so yeah theodora just to answer your query that if the content genuinely adds value and it needs to be there then obviously one should do that okay uh, i guess someone is on mute let me just go ahead and mute okay i have unmuted the post okay moving on uh, so i will be showing you these things accordions and buttons and all everything okay again buttons 
how to add a table it's it's fine so how to add images that's again a part of this so this is what we will be learning okay so we're just trying to set the agenda straight organize content and uh yeah okay so let's start okay uh, let's start with the very first thing that is components of a website let me just add some bullets and okay components of a website so let me just go ahead and delete this block entirely okay now what all things are needed in order to create a website what do i need i want to start creating a website okay what do i need now components of a website right? what all things do i need yes anyone can you just throw a few things at me what what all things do we need to create a website what is the first thing very first thing uh, the main registration sorry vision the main registration very good very good what is your vision with this or what is your objective correct why do you want to create a website are you selling something right is it a product or is it a service that you are offering right uh, do you want transactions on the website mm -hmm. or do you want to capture just leads on the website correct so leads or transactions by transactions i mean people visiting your website making a payment and then landing on a thank you page hey thank you for your purchase and you'll be getting an email very soon with the sh shipping details and all right so uh, that is called as a transaction so or conversion so what exactly is your objective what are you selling correct and um, in fact do you want to create a website or do you want to create a blog correct so some people might be interested in creating a blog and then adding value and adding value and bringing in transactions through the blog so people can sell products through blogs as well okay don't be under the misconception that you need only a website but people can or you can sell through blogs as well now a very important question what is the difference between a website and a blog what is the difference between a website and a blog i think a blog mm -hmm. is more articles and a right. website is more information based article versus information okay but blogs can also be informative right but it's long form of okay. communication okay anyone else very good theodora anyone else hey junior Does anyone want to contribute? What is the difference between a blog and a website? Isn't it that a website is more interactive and a blog is more informative? Okay. Theodora said website is more informative. Uh, Lerato says a blog is more informative. Okay, very good. Can be, can be. Yes. Uh, anyone else? I'll I'll come to that part, which is what and which is what. Yeah, Karen, would you like to contribute? Odwa, um, Andre. I think about the block is you give the people to happy your website to tell something about the company, how good they are, or how they do it better. Okay. And with blog. Um, the block is more information to tell anybody what they do or what they can do. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyone else? Okay. So let me explain the difference. Okay. See, technically speaking, technically speaking. if i ask you to define a website how will you define a website technical level a website is nothing but collection of web pages right collection of pages if i go to this website salesforce if i go to salesforce right 
can you see all these are pages all these are pages so a website is nothing but collection of pages okay a group of pages form a website okay and these pages contain information these pages contain information and if you want to visualize how does a website look like i can see logo and all these things text but at the back end or at technical level if i want to visualize how does a website look like so a website actually looks like a folder a website actually looks like a folder okay um if i were if i were to give you another example let me just show you something uh so if i just a second if i yeah if i if i look at this folder french which says french this is how a website looks like this is your website a website is nothing but a folder and inside that folder there are multiple pages right there is a home page there is a pricing page there might be an about us page there might be a contact us page there might be a terms and conditions page a privacy policy page and n number of pages in case of e-commerce the number of these pages is very very high millions of pages probably right so website is nothing but a uh, but a collection of pages okay and uh, also other folders can be a part of other folders can be a part of this folder okay so there are pages there are other folders and that other folders also contain some other pages okay so that is what a website actually is if you want to visualize how does a website look like you can simply close your eyes and imagine it to be a folder what is amazon amazon is a folder inside that folder there are many other folders and inside those folders there are many other pages okay so if you want to visualize amazon in very simple terms let me show you how amazon would look like uh, amazon would be one folder let's call it uh, amazon okay or let's call it home inside that home folder there are other folders mobile phones um uh, let's say electronics furniture right so on and so forth so these are called as categories okay inside mobile phones there are many 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 pages samsung right again uh, there can be pages and there can be folders also let's imagine there are many pages okay to keep things simple so there is one page for samsung one page for iphones one page for this one page for that in um, uh, in other categories also there are thousands of other pages are you able to uh, visualize a website how many of you are able to visualize what exactly a website is it's folder within folder within folder and then probably some pages within those folders yes is there anyone who is, who is not able to visualize are you able to visualize can i hear a yes from you guys yes what yes. about others Yes, very good. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. So, website is nothing but folder. And blog, now let's come to blog. Technically speaking, a website is equal to blog because a blog is also a website. Collection of pages, but with slightly more information as compared to more information as compared to um, a website, okay? Now, if I were to define or do differentiate between the two so this is how it will be something that you create from business perspective is a website and and the entity that you create from uh, from interest perspective from your interest perspective is called as a blog okay this is the basic definition of the two something that you create with a business goal in mind or a business objective in mind uh, that is called as a website but when you create something from your interest perspective you have an interest and you want to share something out that interest you want to write based on that interest you want to give out more information uh, so that is called as a blog how many of you agree right the basic definition would be this so from business perspective you create a website from interest perspective you create a blog okay is this understood the difference between the two okay can i assume that we have understood and move ahead let me quickly check the chat 
Yes. So, okay. Karen says yes. Yumele also says yes. Okay. Can, Basically, all of you. Can okay. a blog be pro progressed to a website? It can be. Yes. It can be. But uh, usually, what happens is a blog is a subset of a website. That means a blog is a part of a website. So, website can be this big entity. Okay. This big entity. And a blog can be a small component of that big entity. For example, for example, so this is a website, right? And if I go to resources, can you see our blog? So the entire thing is a website and blog is like a small folder within that folder, within that website. And if I go to the blog section, then there are multiple pages inside the blog as well. This is one page. This is the second page, third page, scroll down, fourth page, fifth page. Correct? So the main entity would be a website and the blog can be a small component. Okay? And some people create and create a blog which is a standalone entity. Like in this case. Can you see? There is just information. This is not actually a website because I'm not selling anything. I'm just sharing information which I know. So this is just a blog and this is not a part of any website. This is a standalone entity right so i hope the difference is clear so the so about, when you yeah. read a news site is that a website or is it a blog news if you read if you like these news websites where they just mm -hmm. have you know news considering okay. that they're not selling anything would that be a website or a blog that would be a blog okay sharing information okay but again, there technically like there would news be some 24. difference. Isn't News Twenty Four a website? Sorry? Because they also advertise on it. News Twenty Four, for instance, they also advertise on it, and it's more of a website than a blog. Yeah, yeah, but right? but the ac actual intention is not like they don't have any product or service that they are offering. Uh, yeah. So that's why we. But you can also get people to advertise on your blog as well. Correct. So if if you oh. have if you are sharing information, and if you are monetizing that information, okay then again, it's a part of a blog. Okay, you can monetize. But if you your intent is like, I have a product or a service and I'm selling it, then it becomes a website. Okay. So again, it's about the intent. Okay. If you are earning money from your blog, that doesn't mean that blog is a website. Okay. But yeah, if you go at a technical level, if you go at a technical level, then a blog is equal to a website only. Because why? Because it's a folder. And within that folder, there are pages. Okay, or there are some other folders, and those other folders might contain some pages. So, uh, in that sense, then a blog is equivalent to a website. Okay, but if you look at it visually, if you look at it visually, now I'm not talking technically, but visually, visually, a blog is something that has a lot of information created from interest perspective, and website is something that is created from from a transaction perspective or from a business perspective. Okay, but technically speaking. They are one and the same. Okay, I hope this is understood. Uh, so let's go to our objective. Do you want to create a website or a blog? If you're creating a website, what are you selling? What are you offering? Services, product, what products, what services? If you are a blog, then what kind of a blog? Is it going to be a blog which has news, latest news, trending news? Or is it a blog that, you no, know, I'm just creating something uh, out of my passion, out of my interest. I'm sharing information. That information might not even be very, very updated, right? Example in this case, is this case, uh, this was published on 25th of April, 2021. 29th March. March. February. Can you see there is no fixed pattern. There is no discipline in this. So this is not a, uh, this is just a simple blog, not a news blog, okay, or a, not a news website. If you go to a news website, you'll find 5, 10, 15 articles getting published on a daily basis. That probably might be a news website, okay. Let's go back. So blog or a website, correct? You need to be very, very clear about it. Next, what is what comes next? You'll need an identity, right? Obviously, you'll need an identity for the uh, blog or the website. What is that identity called? Any idea? That is called as a domain name. Domain. Domain. Very good. 
So what is the domain name in my case? It's digital dum dum. What is the domain name in case of Salesforce? Is Salesforce.org, right? To be more precise, the org part or the dot com, dot in, uh, dot co dot in, right? All these things are called as extensions or TLDs, top level domains. Okay, extensions or TLDs, top level domains. Let me just see if I can find some example for you. Uh, TLD image. Yeah, let's go to images. So some, sometimes if you have any query, instead of Googling, instead of Googling it over here, go to the images section. I, I feel that a lot of doubts get cleared in the images section. Look at this. Top level domains, tld.com.edu.gov.this.that. There are a lot of dot coms and all. So uh, these are called as top level domains. And this is the main identity, Google. Digital Dum Dum, Salesforce, right? So these are uh, called as your domain name. This is your identity online. So if I have a shop, if I have a shop, a physical shop somewhere, I'll have a huge board at the top, right? With my name on it. But if I have a shop virtually, that virtual shop is called as a website and that board is called as a Domain. How many of you agree? How many of you have understood this? It's clear. How many of you have understood this uh, analogy? Yes. Very good. I'm very good. The, very clear. Mm. Very clear. Okay. I'm checking the chat as well. If you have understood, please mention yes in the chat. Okay. Junior says, can you repeat it? Okay. Uh, so, Junior, if I have a physical establishment or a shop, okay. Um, so that is a physical establishment, which you can see, right? It's a shop uh, and that shop has a board at the top so that you know what is the name of the shop. In terms of virtual, in the virtual world, that physical shop becomes your website. That website is your shop and that board is nothing but your domain, your identity. Got it? Okay, now you understood. Very good, very good. Okay, now one more thing. Uh, I have a, I have a domain. Okay, uh, I have a website and a domain, but that shop. Let's let's come back to the physical world now. Uh, physically, in order to uh, establish a shop, I need some space. I need some area, right? Can you have a floating shop? <laughs> no, you need some area, correct? You need some uh, space where you can set up that shop. Okay, now what is that space called in the virtual world? What is that space where you have that shop? What is that space where you have that website called? That space for the website is called as a server. It's, it's called as a server or web hosting. How many of you have heard these terms? Okay. Server, web hosting? Yes. Yes, very good. Server or web hosting would be a common uh, nomenclature for it. Okay. So in the virtual world, if I want to have a website, I need a space also where that website can be saved, where that folder can be saved. Correct. Very much similar to a hard drive. Okay. How many of you use a hard drive? You probably are using, right? 512 uh, GB or 1 TB hard drive. Inside that hard drive, there might be a folder. Okay, so that hard drive is nothing but a server. That, that is technically a server. That hard drive is a server where there is space to save something. And that folder is a website. Got it? And in the real world, you don't have those small servers like the hard drive. But this is how the server looks like. Let me just Google over here server. Look at this. This is a server. Uh, let me just show you a better image. Can you see this image? Look at these servers. Everything is a server made out of small hard disks, hard drives. And where are these websites saved? These websites are saved on these hard drives, on these machines. So when you type Amazon.com, this Amazon.com is also this website. This, the pages of this website are saved on machines like these. When you type google.com, 
the pages of google.com are saved on machines like these when you type salesforce.org this website is saved somewhere where not sure but this is saved somewhere on machines like these how many of you understood the concept so far clear yeah. understood yeah. understood very good yes understood very good so i hope so far the concept is clear about uh, identity and server i'll come to that part how do we get that identity how do we buy it i uh, will come to that part later but right now what's important is just understand what all things we need later on i'll show you how to go and buy these things right imagine you are making something very nice you are cooking something very nice first get a list of ingredients and then you go to shopping correct to buy them so we are just creating a list of those ingredients okay okay so now i know that i need to be very clear about whether i want to create a website or a blog i need to come up with a nice name that is called as the identity or the domain name okay for website i need some space also so that is your server or web hosting space and what else i need to create that website right for that i need coding skills how many of you know how to code something using php python whatever it may be do you know probably not i am assuming no okay because we are not from a technical background and when you guys were introducing yourselves i i did not hear anyone saying that you are a website developer right so i am assuming that you that you including me uh, okay so us uh, we do not have any uh, technical background or coding experience coding background so what do we do what is the alternative we use some content management system content management system also called as cms and the most popular cms is wordpress let me just zoom in if it is not visible to you so sorry wordpress you have wix you have shopify you have magento you have joomla and there's so many if you just google uh, if you just google um, popular cms not required but yeah if you just google see i i always like to go through images because then you get a lot of answers very quickly and this is very easy to understand and you know it it creates that visual effect so easy to understand and i i personally like these kind of things instead of going through tons of text reading through text but this gives me my answer in a quick um, very quickly so yeah look at this wordpress magento you have joomla drupal i forgot drupal as well so drupal these are very popular uh, django java yes um, again some of these are programming languages as well ruby on rails i can see rails uh, some of the things i haven't heard of and i i don't even want to get into it because they are not popular not widely used in the industry so we can just forget about those right let's go back to mila note okay so i don't know any coding i don't have any coding skills i don't want to learn php by enrolling into some 6 months course because i don't want to make a career out of it but then i also want a website how do i do it you go for alternative you use some content management system also called as cms and probably the most uh, popular one in the world is wordpress then why not use wordpress right finally when you have a very good structure that website in place you really cannot call it a website unless you add content to it agree it's okay to have a bad website with very good content rather than have a very beautiful website with very bad low quality content how many of you agree or disagree it's fine you can mention in the chat agree disagree theodora says that you can enroll into code academy yes 
there are websites if you genuinely want uh, to make a career into programming and all there are websites like there code academy website. someone is 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 someone Uh, through which you can learn coding very easily, and I'm sure there are plenty of YouTube channels where you will just get overloaded with content getting bombarded on you, right? It's a content overload, and the same happens with digital marketing also. Today, everyone is teaching digital marketing, and there's so much of content, there's so much of content overload. You don't know which is relevant, which is not, where to start, where to end, and you are just going around the same content round and round and round, right? So it's very confusing. so that's why you have uh, regenesis digital over here so that we can guide you on the proper path anyways may i so, ask before you go ahead you said it would be better to have a bad website with good content than vice versa what's okay. a bad website a, a bad website wikipedia visually it's just text and some blue colored links right it's okay. it's not very appealing very beautiful you won't say it's a very beautiful website no right like for example in this case uh, if i go to the home page you might say okay this is a beautiful website it's a very good website visually it has images it has videos it has this it has that right plenty of components um, uh, are over here correct look at this and then you go to wikipedia or you go to reddit how many of you have seen reddit yeah right will you say it's a very beautiful website how many yeah, of you have seen quora Okay, so a bad website is basically one without I, I images and interactive. I would say bad, not bad, okay. but not the best. Not the best, yeah. Uh, visually, not striking, not okay. striking enough visually. Okay, or not okay. enticing enough visually, right? Yeah. So this is Reddit, and in fact, if you go to any this thing, you will find a lot of clutter. Look at these. Look at this thing, clutter. A lot of text around you. A lot of text. So, again, Quora. A lot of text around you, right? Wonder Woman. Okay, a lot of text. Uh, so yeah, and some of them might have uh, visuals like um, images or infographics or content. Uh, sorry, or a video, but a lot of text. So that's why I won't call these very appealing. Uh, let's go to Wikipedia as well, and uh, I can search for let's say let's search for okay. And look at this. How many images can you find? Probably one, right? One, two. But look at the clutter and the content. It's very informative, very, very informative because of the content, because of the text. Yes, right. But it it won't be visually striking website, right? Look at these things. Do you like these things, right? Probably important from navigation perspective, but from but visually not that great. Look at this. Visually not that great. Look at this, some blue colored text popping up very frequently. These numbers, what are these numbers, right? So, uh, it's not very appealing website, and especially this this uh, section. Uh, if I scroll down, uh, where is it? Yeah, look at this section. Correct. It's visually, it is not that great. Actually, these are the links or the sources from where we are getting this information. So, these are very important. Okay. the value is very high but visually uh, they are not very striking or very appealing enough so that is what i mean so it's okay to have a decent website like wikipedia with content that adds lot of value with very good high quality content this is a good website okay but websites which are uh, which are visually very good like this okay there's image image and there's lot of things but the content is not that good it's it's okay okay content plus it is not very frequently updated this is, the last content was written in april right this is not a good example of a website okay so that is what i was trying to say content is very important in digital marketing content is very important content is the king content is the core of digital marketing okay just you have to make sure that you this thing gets imbibed in your mind 
in digital marketing content is the king because people cannot feel the product people cannot feel the service you have to offer people cannot feel what you are thinking but through blogs through content through text you have to add that value okay so content is everything content is something that will speak about your product content is something that will speak about your uh, services that you offer content is something that will uh, help people understand what you have in mind what that blogger has in mind right and content is a very good example of expanding of expanding the product and the services uh, you uh, have to offer like for example if i go to uh, air call it's a cloud based uh, call center software basically voip okay uh, voip for businesses now in order to have in order to present more information about this product what they have done is they have created pages like solutions and call center software phone system actually this is one product but they have split into multiple applications okay like the application would be for sales for it and uh, so you if you click let's say i go to call center i can see i can see this product and its benefits for a call center right look at this now what if i want to expand this now this is just one page right and i cannot i cannot dump tons of information on this single page because this page is where i'm going to make a sale right people are going to get converted or people are going to get converted into a lead people are going to fill up a form like this so i don't want to bore them or i won't i don't want them to lose interest with uh, by bombarding lots of information on them so what do i do in that case i start something that is called as a blog so can you see if i go to resources and i have plenty of things which are very much similar to a blog and that is how i share additional information about my product with my audience okay uh, so far is this understood content is the king okay agree do you find that in the future people will be consuming more like images videos than written content and is it going to be now more interesting to convert written content into images and oh, videos okay. do you find i'm sorry i, I missed uh, your uh, question towards the end because i guess someone is on uh, mute someone uh, is mute yeah, yeah. I'll, i'll mute them uh okay yeah uh, let us so sorry yeah, yeah could you please explain your question again my question is do you find that in the future people are going to be consuming more and more images and video content rather than written content and are we, are we going to have to is our niche going to be more converting the written content into images and videos going forward like are you yes, better yes. off with a, with a image and video based website than you are with a with a written co- content yes. website yes and that's quite evident and that is quite obvious uh, nowadays right um, again would you like uh, to read see wikipedia is a very popular website right but uh, no if i want to know about cricket uh, instead of searching on wikipedia and reading tons of information i can just go to youtube i can watch a video and in fact i'll get probably more information because there is not just one video there are tons of other videos explaining the same concept and so you feel psychologically you feel that you'll get more information over there right plus uh, in text what happens is there is only visual thing going on but when it comes to videos there is audio as well as visual right so you are uh, absorbing more information so uh, obviously yes something that is more concise but gives the same amount of information is better because people are also becoming very comfortable and becoming very lazy right so they want all the information very quickly so and that's why you'll see that uh, no someone who, you would have enjoyed reading newspapers a few years back but now you don't want newspapers you want the same information in concise format so there are apps like news in shorts do you know this uh, let me just show you mm-hmm. news in shorts they present information in a very concise manner and uh, mainly there is one image 
and just a few lines that's it look at this so you don't read the entire information in fact they don't even have that option to read more it's image and then it's um, uh, it's image and then it's uh, small information that's it so yes people are going to um, people are becoming lazy and people are uh, are preferring are preferring uh, visuals like images and videos over longer content okay and that is going to follow so images and videos and all these things are going to become more and more popular i'm not saying they are not popular today they are very popular today and they are going to that popularity is going to keep on growing exponentially uh, one very good example is infographics how many of you know what infographics are yeah okay i'll i'll show you something um what is a is there can you tell me something that is trending in south africa something that is trending in south africa okay i can um i can do this um statistics of youtube okay let's do this statistics of youtube okay now these are some of the statistics and you can sc scroll down or i can say infographic is it open yeah uh, let's go to infographics and yeah yeah look at this so this is this is also a good article but it has lots of content uh, this article is good but it has lots of content because text text i have to read through every line right so there's a lot of text look at the text instead i would prefer going through something like this i can can you see youtube is the second largest okay 30 million users okay youtube is available in 100 plus countries so the same kind of information i'm getting in like this correct right? so that's why this kind of content is very very popular so yeah uh, does that answer your query i guess i guess it was lerato who asked a question yes yes it does um i was looking more into There's, there'll be a lot of opportunity for content developers to convert words yes. into images and exactly. other forms of content, and there will be a good opportunity going forward. Yeah, yeah. So, do you know these influencers and all uh, on YouTube or on Instagram? They are less of celebrities, but they are more of content creators. Right? How do you create and present it to people? That is, and that's why uh, because. visual content is more appealing you will find more people on instagram today you will find more people going through youtube on youtube shorts today correct because that content is working that content is popular already okay and that is how they, when when they get a lot of views they become influencers correct so if the demand for visual content would have been less then we wouldn't have uh, uh, this term called as influencers or influencer marketing okay so yeah visual content is very very um uh, very very important and it has gained a lot of popularity and it is it is going to keep on uh, growing exponentially okay let's move ahead so let's come back to our notes the content okay so these are the things that we are going to require in order to create a website okay uh right so now how do we start so objective you need to be clear i cannot teach you how to be clear here and i can depend on your need and uh, uh, plenty of market research you will check whether something is in demand in the market something is not in demand let's say i want to start a blog okay um should i sell vegan products i want to know if there is any demand for vegan products vegan diet in the market how do i do it i want to i i, I follow vegan diet suppose i don't actually but suppose i follow vegan diet and i know almost everything about vegan uh, diet vegan food i want to know if there is any demand in the market why because i want to start a blog but i am wondering will people actually 
search for it will people actually read my content will people prefer my blog i am not sure let's see so there are some tools like um, let's say uber suggest it's a keyword research tool it will show you what people are searching for on google or what people google okay so let's say let's keep it united states uh, i can change it to india or south africa also uh, so let's start with south africa uh do people search for vegan food or vegan diet let's see by the way this is of uh, this will give you three free searches in a day only three so let's see whether people in south africa search for vegan food it says around 1900 people search for vegan food every month look at this in the month of july sorry in the month of august it was 1900 it, it has been around 1900 more or less, more or less. right so look at this vegan food 1900 vegan food near me vegan food list these are the number of searches can you see search volume these are the number of searches uh, let's say vegan diet again 1900 right so this is something that you can use to understand whether there is a demand in the market or not uh, let's say uh, you want to start your own digital marketing institute do people from south africa search for digital marketing courses let's see digital marketing course let's hit enter 2000 roughly 3000 people search for digital marketing course every month so there is a demand in the market right this is monthly data digital marketing courses 2400 digital marketing course 2900 let's try digital marketing institutes oh it says you have found a premium upgrade check out a premium to get more out of over suggest Come back in twenty-four hours. I'll come back. Forget. It, it is it saying I'll have to pay or seven days free trial, but then it will ask me for card details and all, right? Yeah. So, anyways, so this is how you can check whether there is any demand in the market or not, right? Right. And once you do that, then you decide whether you are actually selling, selling something or you are just going to write about that particular interest. And so your objective is very very clear. now how do you buy identity or a domain so you can simply go to uh, you can simply do this buy domain or buy cheap domains cheaper price or cheap domains in india something like that whatever it may be uh, no need to add country over here because uh, it's generic uh, uh, applicable across the entire globe and you'll find a lot of websites like godaddy big rock Plenty of websites over here. Name cheap, Postinger. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, find a perfect domain. Now, obviously, if a domain is already bought by someone, let's say Amazon. dot com, you cannot buy Amazon. dot com. Okay. Chances are that you can buy Amazon. dot in or uh, Amazon. dot sa, provided that Amazon. dot com hasn't already bought the other domains or the other extensions also. okay so let's say i want to start um something i want to start a digital marketing institute let me just check if this is available um digital marketing why don't you do digital marketing agency cuz that will be more relevant to what you're trying to achieve let's do that okay data marketing agency dot com this is probably bought by someone because it's a very generic domain so i'm sure this might not be available yeah it says dot com it's not available digital marketing agency dot com it's already taken by someone but it is suggesting an alternative do you want to buy want digital, digital solutions agency dot in and it is very very cheap one forty nine i don't want it right it says dot com is already taken by someone uh, digital marketing let's try company also not available 
right? What is available are these. Digi, Digi Marketing Company is available. Can you see Digi Marketing Company is available? Uh, let's try something else. Uh, let us assume that there is something. Uh, I'm just ra randomly typing some characters. Dot com. Let's see if this is available. Just to show you what happens if a domain is available. Okay, it says yes, this is available, and this is available for just two hundred and forty nine rupees per year. What is that? So if I compare rand to INR or INR to rand, how much is two forty nine? Is fifty two rand? Is it very expensive for an entire year? Yes, guys. No, it's very cheap. It's very cheap, right? It's usually so, ninety nine no. rand for an entire year. Sorry. It's usually ninety nine rand for an entire year. It, it depends. Now, if I if I go to if this is a dot com version, dot com is slightly expensive. If you go to dot in, look at this. Instead of two forty nine, it becomes one forty nine. Correct. So the pricing depends on uh, whether it is uh, a dot com or a dot in or whatever it is. But whatever you are looking for, if that is available in the dot com version, you will find it uh, expensive. Okay, you will find it costlier. Uh, let's try something else as well. Mm. Marketing Guru. Okay. Not available. Marketing champion, probably not available. It says marketing champion. Someone who who owns marketing champion domain is willing to sell it for this much amount. Let's convert it to rand and see. This much amount. How much is it? One hundred and twenty-four thousand three hundred and fifty. They mad. That's expensive, right? Yes. And not only that, but GoDaddy says that I'll help you buy the domain, but I'll charge a commission as well per year. Okay, so this amount plus this amount per year. So it is expensive, right? Why? Because. A lot of people might be searching for this domain, and the owner of this domain knows that there is a demand for this domain. Why not sell it at a higher price? Very much similar to real estate, correct? So, I hope you got a, a basically the uh, the idea behind this exercise was just to give you a glimpse of uh, how to check whether a domain is available or not. That is one. Second is uh, how to uh, or get a feel of how much it will actually cost me. So uh, let's. See something that is available in the dot com version. Um, let's try marketing champion one dot com. Okay. Okay, so it says it is available. Okay, and what is the cost? Two hundred and forty-nine per year for the first year with a two-year registration. So if you feel, if you guys feel that okay, I just have to pay two forty-nine and I'll get the domain for one year, that is not true. Look at this. Look now, what these guys do is uh, this is not actually ethical, but just see what will happen now. If I like the domain, I'll add it to the cart. now ideally one might feel that the cost is 249 right but when you add it to the cart continue to the cart let's see it says full domain protection now they are trying to add a few things automatically they are trying to upsell and cross sell a few things so what it has done it has suddenly chosen full domain protection as well i don't want this right why not choose no thanks correct okay? so i want I don't want anything else. I just want the domain. I don't want this full protection. Basically, they will hide your information from the uh, rest of the information. Basically, uh, who uh, owns who the owns domain? The... You won't be able to find out. Okay. Start a website for free. I'll keep this stigma because it is free. Professional email. What do we mean by professional email? Now, ideally, our email IDs are something like 
स्वप्नील एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम स्वप्नील एट द रेट याहू डॉट कॉम स्वप्नील एट द रेट रेडिफ डॉट कॉम दीज आर नॉट प्रोफेशनल वेबसाइट प्रोफेशनल डोमेन डोमेन प्रोफेशनल डोमेन मीन्स लेट से एडमिन एट द रेट एमेजॉन डॉट कॉम सपोर्ट एट द रेट एमेजॉन डॉट कॉम इन्फो एट द रेट इन्फो एट द रेट डिजिटल रीजेनेसिस डॉट कॉम करेक्ट दैट हैविंग दैट डोमेन इन द ई मेल ऑल्सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज ए प्रोफेशनल email or a domain email id and if you want to take your business to the professional level then you you cannot work with gmail and uh, yahoo and all those email ids you will have you will need a professional email id okay so you can buy them right now i'm not going to buy anything i'm just going to click no thanks and move ahead with continue to cart and let's see how the cart looks like at the end okay so what i thought would be 249 249 it looks like 1298 correct so these guys they usually misguide you by showing you a lower price and if i choose for one year for one year it becomes something around 700 yeah look at this 849 and then plus uh, taxes and plus these things 19% off and everything when you total it it comes to 734 Okay, they have already applied a promo code, and uh, yeah, that that's fine. You say yeah. Um, in terms of the domain, I I want to understand that um, someone started the domain, and then at some point they 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 sell it to someone else. Sorry. Can you do that for your own business in the long run if your business has become so successful? Yes, but if your business becomes successful again, uh, you the question is you want to sell only the domain or you want to sell the entire business. If you want to sell the entire business to someone, then the process is not going to be as easy as listing it on GoDaddy, right? So uh, there are two different things. When you sell the business, then uh, selling the domain becomes a part of the contract, right? There there might be n number of things that you are selling, and domain might be one of them. Okay, so yeah, you okay. just look. uh just be uh, these are two different things selling only the domain and selling uh, the entire business itself when over here we saw that someone was selling the domain that means he owns the domain but not the entire website there there actually might not be even any website so we were searching for marketing champion right let's see what we have this might be a very basic looking website marketingchampion.com is for sale look at this they don't have an actual business he is just selling the domain look at this he doesn't have any actual business got it so it these are two different things selling business and selling domain right now what we saw was selling domain yes, uh, does that answer your query yeah it does it does thank you very much it does answer me thank you very much okay welcome okay so that is what a domain uh, is and how much it costs okay domains are very very cheap okay it's cheap even though it is for 849 rupees that is for an entire year uh, or let's say 734 that is for an entire year. let's go back to converting um uh, inr to rand and let's see how much that is 734 is 153 rand that is again cheap right for an entire year so 153 divided by 12 will give you the monthly cost that is still cheaper so what is expensive then sir then let's go back to godaddy and now uh, let's go to the home page and i'm going to show you the next step that is how do we buy a server or a web hosting okay so if you go to server web hosting let's go to hosting can you see hosting over here we saw domains Let's go to hosting, and by the way, GoDaddy is not the only seller. There are other websites like Big Rock. Here also, you can check. Look at this. You can check your domain over here. Namecheap is another website where you can check your domain. These guys also sell hosting, right? And again, there are types of hostings like shared hosting for basic website or a blog, for a small website or a blog. Uh, then you have uh, VPS, that is dedicated servers for bigger websites, especially e-commerce websites, right? the vps and dedicated servers are very much similar and then the third type is cloud based servers cloud based servers are expensive and they have more flexibility 
when it comes to you know a website handling the number of users i'll come to that part later but hosting also has multiple types and the basic one the cheapest one is the shared hosting or the wordpress hosting so let's go to shared hosting over here name chief and let's go to shared hosting over here as well on go daddy let's see compare the prices so what do we have here it says the basic plan starts with 99 rupees per month uh and the advance would be 200 and 300 and 500 something like that obviously the offerings will be different here i can see that i get less amount of uh, speed that means the website will be slightly slower here the website will be slightly faster here i can host only one website on the server can you see i can host only one domain on the server i can have only one domain on the server here i can have multiple domains or unlimited domains on the server correct so that is the difference that means on this server you can have only one folder on this server you can have multiple folders okay and then again you get uh, less storage over here 30 gb storage you can have more storage over here unlimited storage is over here that means bigger websites because as you keep on adding videos and upload images to the website the size of the website is going to go up it is going to increase right so let's say if i upload one 2 mb or let's say 150 uh, kb image then my server needs only 50 kb suppose but if i upload 100 such images suddenly you are, you need a server which is able to handle 5 mb 50 mb of space so that is where these uh, this storage comes into picture okay and also i can see that with these packages you get a professional email here i don't get a professional email one one important thing to notice here i get a free domain look at this now instead of paying 849 for a domain why not buy a hosting and i get a domain for free and that is exactly what i have done uh, for my website i bought a domain uh, i didn't buy a domain directly i buy i bought a hosting which gave me a free domain and something like this if you go to my website digitaldumdum.com which i'll share over here yeah, that that is my blog let me just share it in the chat and show you something Oh, sorry. I shared it with Abhishek. I'll share it to everyone. Okay. So in this blog, as soon as you land on the home page, you will find this banner, DreamHost. This is also a provider of domain and web hosting. And if you go to WordPress or if you go to hosting, let's go to shared website hosting. Let me show you something. something that will really help you understand that why it is important to first think about hosting and then think about uh, domain buying the domain let's scroll down and look at these let's go for one year plan now with these guys uh, forget about shared don't uh, look at shared look at shared unlimited don't look at starter look at unlimited actually the pricing are the same but here you get unlimited websites which is very good just for 2.95 dollars okay this is very cheap you get you can host multiple websites that is one you get a free domain it is already included second your website can handle huge amounts of traffic unlimited traffic but obviously it, it won't be unlimited for uh, for this price there will obviously be some hidden terms and conditions okay but if you are a small website or a blog This is a so, very good option. Yeah, you said. Uh, Moses, I'm muting Moses. This can be a very good option for you if you are a small blog or a website. Okay, so unlimited traffic. WordPress is pre-installed, and please remember, please make a note of this. WordPress is free. WordPress is a free free software. the wordpress website builder is a free software no matter how you install it how you use it it's a free tool okay so never pay for wordpress wordpress is pre installed because it is free you get automated wordpress migrations ignore not required but basically if you have a website on some other platform these guys will help you to move from that platform to wordpress okay uh free wordpress website builder basically this point is same as this point 
fast ssd storage which is good free ssl certificate this is very very important very important why because what happens with ssl first of all ssl stands for secured sockets layer secured sockets layer and what happens with this can you see this https over here look at this you get that s at the end that is the secured that you get after ssl after you buy ssl it's an add on it's an additional cost but they are giving you for free right and suddenly when you when you buy this you get this green padlock and this https if i click on the padlock it says the connection is secured the site has a valid certificate issued by trusted authority this means let me just zoom in this means information such as passwords or credit cards will be securely sent to this site and cannot be intercepted which is very good right whenever there is sensitive information involved transactions involved your website needs to have https and it will become https only when you buy an ssl certificate and these are mandatory for websites which include transactions banking websites payment gateways right always be sure you are on the intended site before entering any information right how many of you got this point ssl right so if you just do a simple search like uh, ssl certificate and what do we do we go to images right so si simple um, what happens with https uh, with ssl certificate you get https your domain becomes secured encrypted right it says over here connection secured look at the images connection is secured so don't go for http go for https always remember that look at this http versus https in secure connection with https you have secured connection because you are using ssl certificate always make sure that you go through uh, you purchase ssl certificate now ssl certificates can be expensive but if you go for this one if you go for this hosting it becomes uh, free for you guys okay unlimited email domain email ids unlimited like you can create admin at the rate uh, dreamhost.com whatever domain you buy suppose you buy a uh, marketingchampion.com suppose so you can create admin at the rate marketingchampion.com there is no gmail involved no yahoo no redif mail support at the rate marketingchampion.com info at the rate marketingchampion.com right and it says that you have 3 year 1 year and monthly plans also got it so the thing that i like about this plan is this is really very cheap they offer you the option to host multiple websites they give you a domain for free they give you website for free which is already actually free they are giving you a free ssl certificate and they are giving you free unlimited domain email id and if i go to godaddy or any other website i'm getting this at a price i'm paying i have to pay for this i have to pay for this right if you go to godaddy which is very popular i just take 5 more minutes 10 more minutes and then we'll take a break okay let's go to web web hosting hosting yeah in go daddy can you see ssl certificate is an additional cost 293 roughly 300 rupees right managed wordpress 149 that's an additional cost and look at this professional email it's an additional cost per month this is not for the entire year this is just for one month so you'll be paying this 12 times for an entire year 12 times for an entire year again 12 times for an entire year godaddy is expensive this guy this hosting company dreamhost is offering you all those things for free right in the basic plan and in fact they have some other plans also so if you want a better option then you can go to hostings and you can go to vps or managed wordpress hosting or dedicated hosting as well so let's go to vps hosting
Yeah. So with VPS, you have these many options, and here also they are offering free SSL, unlimited websites, unlimited traffic, unlimited email domains, even in the basic plan. Right. So it's it's a good option, very good option. I hope this is clear. Server, web hosting, and all, right? Uh, and WordPress is free, and then all you need is content. So I'll show you how you can install WordPress. Uh, what are the steps involved? How you can install WordPress? Basically, I've added a, a video over here. If you scroll down, can you see this video? Right. So by going on the website, if you click this video, uh, you will see all the steps that are involved, and you know, uh, for creating a website. Okay. So guys, what we'll do is we'll take a quick break. Okay, we'll take a quick break. Before that, do you have any queries, any doubts, or is there something that I wasn't able to uh, answer or resolve? Is everything clear to I all use, of you? I use um, Xnilo for hosting, but now that you've spoken about these, I think I just want to see whether or not one is getting value for money. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Please, please as do a, that. As a, them. Yeah, as a as a agency, you have to do the hosting yourself, right? Exactly. Yes. Yes. It's safer to host yourself. So rather, yeah, look at a package that's a bit broader and Correct. offers you more for your clients. Exactly. So DreamHost is a very old and a very renowned company, and you can simply visit the website uh, digitaldumdum.com and just click over here. So. Here you will probably be redirected to um, uh, to DreamHost homepage, I believe, right? And here uh, you can choose manage uh, like managed WordPress hosting and shared are for basic websites for small websites. For e-commerce, you will have to go for VPS and dedicated one, uh, or you can go for better option which is cloud hosting. Okay, in cloud hosting, what happens is your website can handle huge amount of traffic. Suppose there is an e-commerce business who is, uh, no, uh, whose sale is starting. There's let's say 50%, 80% discount. And so a lot of traffic is going to hit the website. That is expected. Why? Because everything is very cheap. So a lot of people are going to visit and make the transaction. In that case, the dedicated and VPS will also have some limitations, but those limitations are removed in the cloud hosting. Okay. So cloud hosting is like the best a version, but mainly very expensive and for bigger websites. Okay. But for basic websites, if you want to start your blog, you can go with the shared hosting or the managed WordPress hosting as well. Okay. But make sure that you compare your existing one with the, uh, with the one which dream host is offering, not just with the pricing, but the features more importantly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also you can go through the website and uh, this video, sorry. Go through the video to understand how you install WordPress when you buy DreamHost. This is an entire tutorial of DreamHost. I'll show it to you once you come back from the uh, from the break. But uh, any any doubts? Any more doubts? Are you guys enjoying the session? Yes, people. Yes, 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 yes. We are yes. still okay. Very good. So far, we have discussed uh, the ingredients and uh, how to purchase the ingredients or at least some of the ingredients, right? I've uh, shown you how to purchase identity, that is the domain name and the web hosting server. Now we are going to move ahead with uh, uh, the CMS part, the content management system part. And I'll later on show you how you can add content to the uh, website. Okay. So yeah, now the CMS part, what happens is, WordPress is a software that you have to install. It's like any software that you install in your um, in your laptops or your computers. Similarly, WordPress is a software that you have to install uh, on your uh, on your web hosting server. Okay, on the domain you have to choose your domain, and on the domain uh, you have to uh, install the software. So the action takes place on the server itself. Okay, now please remember that whenever you buy any uh, server. You get an uh, you get an email uh, saying thank you for and all those things the invoice and all, but uh, in the mail you get something <coughs> called as uh, C panel credentials. C panel stands for control panel. Basically, when you buy a server, you get user ID and password of the server. That's it. Okay. When you buy a server, you get the user ID and the password for the server. 
all you have to do is log into the server and then install wordpress so now i have already installed wordpress and all so i don't have anything for the sake of demonstration but i have this video with me i have this uh, video with me uh, which which mentions all the steps that one has to follow uh, in order to install wordpress on it okay so just make sure that later on you go through it and uh, how i'm sharing it in the chat yeah i've shared the video in the chat please check it out so uh, let me just go into full screen mode i'll show you glimpses of the video uh, <coughs> so basically here uh, you click on the banner right you click on the banner or you can directly go to dreamos is up to up to you but you will have to search for the page so the shortcut would be you click on the banner and then uh, you visit a dream host uh, website like this and then you go to the web hosting server at the top and you will arrive at this page right and here you can purchase this uh, web hosting so i have just explained a few things and uh, i've shown how to purchase everything how to purchase the web hosting server and how you get a domain and all with it right so just make sure that you go through this video properly and uh, okay if you don't want to purchase how to install wordpress for free i've shown i'll show you that method also but you won't be able to uh, promote that website because that website will be saved in your computer in your laptop okay you won't be able to actively market that uh, that website but yeah if you want to practice it for free on your laptop then i'll show you a method so don't worry about it okay so basically once you go to the next page uh, this is what you get uh, it will ask you to pick a plan and to choose a domain and then uh, make the payment okay so just follow these steps uh, i already had a domain so i can have it i can add it over here i i already have a domain but if you want to buy a new domain and for free which dreamhost is offering then you can go for register a new domain and if you still haven't thought about a domain name and you need some time you can choose this option which says choose a domain later okay so you can make the purchase and then later on once you have decided the domain name and that domain name is if it is available then you can go ahead and buy it for free so you'll get this kind of a screen and um, um uh it will ask you to register a new domain if you are buying a new one and let's see what happens after that yeah it will ask you to search for the domain can you see i have searched for the domain over here and then it says congrats that this domain is available add for 0 dollars can you see 0 dollars mentioned okay so you can add that and it will ask you to make uh the transaction so you can either choose credit or debit card or paypal and then uh, add your billing information after that you um, whatever options that it gives you later on uh, like uh, uh dream shield protection ignore it don't add anything so make sure that these are unchecked dream host seo toolkit make sure this is unchecked google workspace make sure this is unchecked all you have to do is uh, you can tick mark this which is free pre install wordpress so you don't even have to install wordpress whenever the uh, the setup is complete wordpress will automatically be installed on your website so that uh, takes off another headache of yours so you can only tick mark this ideally you should tick mark this don't tick mark anything else okay because these these will again add additional cost to your overall plan and when you're starting fresh when you're starting new why spend a lot of money right just buy the basic things and uh, get things rolling and later on you can always upgrade so once you do that click submit order at the bottom and yeah just verify your payment uh, details and all everything and uh, let me just move ahead yeah once you make the payment and all this is the interface that you get this is the back end of your web hosting server this is the back end of your web hosting server okay so this is the home section you can add the your website or your domain from here right can you see website and domains 
you can install wordpress from here you can create professional email uh, emails from here and you can link and link your credit card and debit card from here okay if you want to add or buy another uh, product or additional products then on the extreme left bottom you will see these those options so let's move ahead and yeah just follow whatever i've done in this video and you should be able to install wordpress uh, directly now if if you don't want to purchase uh, this right now but you want to practice wordpress then what you can do is you can visit a website called as bitnami b i t n a m i don't worry i'll share the link with you guys bitnami and now i'm going to show you how to install wordpress for free okay so you will go to bitnami.com and here can you see over here you have wordpress w this w stands for wordpress simply click w and i'll share this link with you so don't worry i'll copy it and i'll paste it in the chat please check and whatever links i'm sharing with you the videos and the bitnami and all please make sure that you bookmark them so that later on you can revisit them and you know just clear out your doubts so once you visit this page okay now depending upon your operating system you will choose whether you are using mac or linux but there is only one option so click windows i am going to click windows mac and over here if you scroll down depending upon the operating system you will choose uh, which version to download so because i am using a 64 bit windows i am going to click this button which is download for windows 64 bit okay so bitnami actually is a software which will help you simulate wordpress on your laptop basically your hard drive or your laptop will uh, will act as a server again let me repeat your laptop will act as a server to your website okay so this website will operate locally let's click download and then obviously you'll have to download using your uh, microsoft id or sign in with an existing bitnami account or if you don't have a bitnami account just create one okay i'll i'll try to sign in using my microsoft id i'm not even sure what that is i don't remember it Okay, so I'm just going to try a few combinations. Okay, so I guess finally I'm able to log in. Just give it the necessary permissions that are required, so that we can move ahead. How many of you want to try it along with me? Can you just unmute and say yes, or can you just type yes in the chat? So I'll give you some time to add this. How many of you are doing things parallelly with me? Yes, Andre. Today's session is getting recorded. Okay, only Odwa uh, is doing practically. Okay, Karen. Karen is also working. Very good. Okay, so whoever wants to uh, implement, I'll I'll wait. Uh, I'll wait for two minutes. Please make sure that you visit Bitnami link that I've shared with you. Just follow the process. I'll wait. Okay. If you face any issues, any doubts, just ask. Uh, it will ask you to, uh, you know, accept some terms and conditions. So let me just do that and accept. And it will download Bitnami in your system. Okay, so let me just save this file somewhere. Okay. 
okay now once you do that once it uh, gets downloaded so, uh, someone is on unmute let me just mute them Uh, Moses, can you unmute your? Uh, can you mute yourself? Can you please mute yourself, Moses? I'm not able to do that. Okay, now Bitnami is installed. I'm going to click Bitnami and I'm going to install Bitnami. Okay, so open file over here. Yeah, look at this below. So I've got a small pop-up. Can you see? Look at my screen. Uh, I have to, oh, there are multiple pop-ups. Yeah, so I'm going to click OK. Continue with installations. Uh, yes, it says that uh, it seems you have an antivirus running. In some cases, this may slow down and interfere the installation of the software. So that's fine. I'm going to click yes and click next button. Click next. Click next. Now, this is very important. Here, you have to enter your username and password. Okay. The username and password that you're going to use to log in to the website. So uh, please make sure that whatever you enter over here, you remember it, okay? So I'll keep the login as and okay. I filled in the details and I'm going to hit uh, and hit the next button. You can add a name to your blog and let me just add my name over here. And hit next button. Do you want to configure uh, mail support? Right now, I won't do that. So let me just uh, proceed. Next, and then again, next. Now, this process takes some time. It will take some time for Bitnami to get installed completely. Setup is now ready to begin. Hit next. Can you see? It is saying preparing to install. Now it will take some time. So yeah, we'll have to be patient and wait. Please make sure that you also do it parallelly along with me. And if you want to uh, watch this video again, so obviously you can go through the recording, but for the sake of Bitnami, uh, if you want to know how to install Bitnami, uh, I'll share one more link with you.
Okay, I'm sharing the link with you where I've uh, uh, shown how to install Bitnami. So, Abneel, I don't know if you've explained um, WordPress and Bitnami. I think I'm a bit lost there. Like, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, so what happens is, just a second, uh, someone is on uh, unmute, Moses. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so Bitnami is nothing. So WordPress is a software to create a website. And what Bitnami does is, Bitnami allows you to install that WordPress software on your laptop. That's it. Okay. So basically what we are doing, uh, ideally, uh, we buy a server and install WordPress and start creating a website. But because we don't have a server, we are creating our, we are turning our laptop into a server. For that, we need Bitnami. So once oh, your laptop okay. becomes a server, you install WordPress and you start creating a website. Okay. Is this when you don't have hosting? Yeah, yeah. That's when you don't have hosting. So your uh, so with this method, what happens is your your website is not on the World Wide Web. Your website is on the laptop. Okay. So if that laptop get lost, you lose their website and what you can uh, yes, yes. Yeah. And we have a lot of losses in South Africa, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, guys, let me know in the chat once it is done so I can proceed. Uh, but actually, even I need some time because the installation is running, so I have to wait till it gets completed. Probably because of my antivirus as well, the process is slow. Else, my internet is uh, actually very good. Someone is on the phone, I guess. I can still hear some disturbance. So sorry, please bear with me. Is anyone else trying along with me? Please mention in the chat. Yes, Karen, were you able to install it? Okay, that's fine. Theodora, Lerato, are you able to install it? I wasn't working with you because I'm also on Apple and I thought it, it might give me some struggles. Um, do you find that we need to increase memory for something like this? Uh, I don't think so, but uh, it, it's fine. What if you can do is later on, once you're comfortable, uh, you can simply uh, go through the video again. I've shared the YouTube video as well with you. Uh, so just make sure that you uh, do it and practice it before our next session.
Odwa, are you doing it parallelly with me? Junior? Very good. Uh, have you reached the same stage as I am right now? Okay. Can you show us one more time while you wait for it to download? Which one to download? Okay. Uh, you have to go to Bitnami and then click the W over here. You will find the link. I've shared the link. Uh, over here, click Windows. Can you see Windows? Click Windows. Scroll down and click download for windows if you are using macbook like karen then click mac over here and then at the bottom click download for os x okay for macbook users Anyways, I'll come to uh, this part uh, again. But now, ideally, let me tell you what happens, okay? So now that uh, you have installed WordPress, uh, this is how uh, you should access it. This is how you should access your website, okay? Let me just move this over here, add a new component over here. Okay, now, when you install WordPress, okay, uh, let's say you have bought a hosting, you bought a domain, you installed WordPress, so ideally your domain would be suppose www.digitaldumdum.com. Okay. This is the front end of the website, correct? Digitaldumdum.com. This is the front end of the website. The website visitors or people. Sorry. Let me just uh, get this process done. So people who visit my website, they will be able to see this interface, the screen that is in front of you. Right now, uh, after that, you guys, you are the owner of the website, correct? Now, if I want to publish any content, how do I publish it? By accessing the backend of the website, correct? How do I access the backend? So I access the backend by simply adding a slash WP for WordPress dash admin. Enter. When I do that, this is the backend of the website. Do you remember while installing the Bitnami software, uh, it had asked you to add a username and a password, correct? The username and the password, which you had submitted over there, you are supposed to enter them over here in order to log in to the website. Okay, so let me just uh, revisit this again. Okay, so in order to log into the backend of the website, your WordPress website, all you have to do is, sorry. In order to access the backend of the website, all you have to do is put in your domain, 
डोमेन नेम डॉट कॉम स्लैश स्लैश डब्ल्यू पी डैश एडमिन ओके स्लैश डब्ल्यू पी डैश एडमिन लेट मी जस्ट कॉपी दिस एंटायर थिंग एंड शेयर इट विथ यू गाइज इन द चैट प्लीज चेक आई एम शेयरिंग इट इन द चैट सिंपली पुट स्लैश डब्ल्यू पी डैश एडमिन इन द फ्रंट एंड वंस यू डू दैट once you do that you will be taken to a login page simply hit uh, simply enter the credentials and you will be able to log in let me show you this one it says bitnam is done launch let me click finish and then you will land on this page can you see access wordpress link simply click the access wordpress link and this is your website which is very very bad looking right it looks very bad very horrible very pathetic don't worry everything is about to change okay gradually we'll add more professional touch to it so but look at the domain it looks very weird right because it is saved on your system so let me just copy this entire thing and let me show it to you over here so we add our domain name.com slash wp dash admin right now our domain is this thing dot com slash wordpress slash simply add wp dash admin look at this this is what we can see over here right at the top simply add slash wp dash admin and you will be able to access the backend of the website please make sure to save this link as a bookmark so that you don't forget save this url as a bookmark so that you don't forget so click and i'm going to save it as my favorite bar thing and now whatever user id and password you have entered uh, earlier simply add them over here and the password and click login that's it this is the back end of the website from where you publish content so i publish this content from the back end from this section or something which looks like this this is the back end of my website if i want to add an image add content add video if i want to do any of these things the things that i've mentioned over here add content navigation bar social icons capture leads all those things i have to first access the back end of my website and how do we access the back end of the website by adding a uh, by adding your domain name .com slash or domain name .in dot in whatever the domain name is slash wp dash admin wp for wordpress dash admin a d m i n then you log in and then you arrive at the dashboard wordpress dashboard and this is how the dashboard looks like and so these are all the options that we will be using i'll show you how to use them and how to create a professional looking website so um, this is the uh, this is the output that one can get through whatever i'm going to show you so once your website is complete it will look something like this and you can upload logo you can upload a uh, image over here uh, you can have call to action buttons right you can have this text you can have a navigation bar at the top with the drop down a call to action look at this counter look at these numbers you can have that and there are so many things that you can do you can have these icons also facebook instagram twitter youtube at the bottom and i'll show you how to add these forms to capture leads and uh, i'll show you how to add headline some content how do you organize content using this structure the structure is called as accordion the structure is called as accordion okay so i'll show you how to add this as well how to add these numbers and there are so many things that you can do using wordpress all this from this interface okay so my goal is that after the end of this module which we will complete next week after the end of this module 
you guys will be able to create a website on your own not just basic website not a website which looks like this let me just show you the front end again it looks horrible not a website that looks like this no but a website that looks like this you will be able to create a website that looks like this and in fact you will be able to start taking up projects as a freelancer you can create websites as a freelancer and that will be an additional source of income for you guys okay that is what my goal is for you you can achieve this only if you practice whatever we have learned today and if you are ready with a website either you buy a hosting and a domain and all those things or you you do it for free by installing bitnami software okay no matter what but you need to be prepared for next session so that you can implement whatever i teach you and we can work parallelly okay so uh, yeah uh, i guess we'll wind it up here uh, because uh, let's start fresh uh, in the next session and uh, let's start from zero i'll be showing you how to use these options for post media pages and all and how you can change the entire appearance of the website how you can add add-ons or apps to your website so these are the options how you can share access of your website with someone else so this is what we will be learning in the next session okay so i hope there are no doubts no queries and uh, yeah uh, are there any doubts please feel free to ask any doubts please feel free to ask um Uh, sorry, I want I want to understand where that you find the the number you type on the. It's an IP address that my that my machine is connected to. Right now, my machine is connected to internet, and uh, so every every device has its own IP address. So that is what it it gets automatically populated. I did not add that number. Okay, so it comes there automatically. Uh, okay so if i'm finish installation the wordpress and i saw the ip address so i add just on um, slash vp stas admin correct that's it okay and make sure that you save uh, that link or you bookmark that link okay so that in the future you don't have to type that number you might forget the number na so you don't have to type it and that's why it is important uh, that you save it as a bookmark or as a you um, just copy and paste the url somewhere okay and also uh, uh, you can practice it n number of times you can use it n number of times don't worry how do we how do we operate or how do we create the website using that i'll show it to you in the next session so that we start fresh okay but i want you each one of you to have that installed in your system or to i i want each one of you to you know at least make that effort of at least purchasing uh, and you know uh, being ready with something that you can work on in the next session okay so that's it from my side uh, did you guys enjoy today's session yes very much thank you karen what about the rest of the people junior lerato odwa sajwa Okay, I I I was just battling with my installation, but it looks like I'm in. It's asking me for username and password. Very but good. I'm not so whatever I've, you whatever you enter, please make sure you save it somewhere or write down in a notebook as well. Okay. 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 Uh, thanks, Odwa. So even Odwa enjoyed the session. So yeah, uh, thanks a lot for being so interactive. And I asked you queries, and you responded. You have used the chat option as well. So yeah, it was really motivating for me is, as well. This is tech me. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem. I didn't realize I was unmuted. Uh, But fine, I wanted to fine. say that it it techman wants to make changes. Is techman what we trying to do? Because it says techman wants to make changes. That's why I need to enter the username and password. Yeah. So where would I get the password for Stagman? Because the one I no entered. no you have to set it. You choose what password you want. And where do I set it? Uh, you will have to move ahead. Um, while installing only on the in the later stages, it will ask you for the username and password. 
Okay. Your bitnami is not completed yet, right? So that's why. Okay. And let us one more thing. I've shared the link with you. So if you have any queries, uh, please do go through the link and you know get it installed. Okay. The video link. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So yeah. Nice to be here and yes, we'll meet again in the next session and the next session is going to be even more interesting because we are going to create a professional looking website, not a website which we just saw right now uh, uh, after installing Bitnami, but a more professional looking website. Okay. And yeah, plenty of things to learn in the next session as well. So please make sure that you don't miss any session. Okay. Please make sure. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. You've been really wonderful. and. Uh, Thank you for your time. Thank you for your efforts as well. Okay. And uh, I'll see you in the next session. Till then, be safe and be happy. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. See you all. Bye bye. Bye bye.